coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I am your host, Max the Animal, and I am joined by Nikki Snacks, the one and only... What's your record right now, by the way? 14 and 4. I want to apologize to everybody for having my first losing week last week at 1 and 2. Um, I didn't bury you, but I paid off all your credit cards already, so I don't want to hear shit. Yeah, he had a losing week. Normally, we'll, we'll be giving you our best bets every Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m., and they're usually winners. Sometimes... Well, there's one side that are usually winners. Sometimes some of us lose. Snacks experienced that this weekend. Last weekend, actually. Not a big deal. Happens to all of us, right, buddy? It does. I mean, that's what we do. When you gamble on football games, you're not going to win every week. The fact that I was 13-2 and two at one point was an utter absurdity. So, sitting at 14-2, and two, what is it, six weeks in? 14-4. Four, what did I say? 14 and two? Yeah. 14 and four, six weeks in. I'm a happy fella. I don't even know what I am. Five and something. Five. You're you're not good. I don't know. Whatever it says. I, but, I stopped. But, I don't really care. But we discussed before we came on the air. You're ready. You're ready for the this breakout. This is the week. I go three. No, I have not done it yet. I haven't. I have not done it yet. I'm going to do it this week. I got a special something, a little special treat. That's why. All right. Uh, you want to start them off? I don't want to give away the secret. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll I'll start it off. Why would the winner start? Why wouldn't the winner start it off? Yeah, I don't want to give away. Oh, a little Any, special secret. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. My first pick of the week is not a homer pick. I know you said that once when you took your Denver Broncos, and they didn't cover, naturally, because the Broncos are not good, as I've been telling you. The Giants aren't very good either. But they're playing at home. They're getting the best player back in Saquon. They're getting the best receiving weapon back in Evan Ingram. David Johnson is a game-time decision. Now, if he plays, he plays. He's playing hurt, though. Chase Edmonds is very good backup, and Kyle Murray causes fits. But the Giants have had 10 days to prepare. They got the defensive coordinator that used to be the defensive coordinator for the Arizona Cardinals, the team that they're playing this week. Revenge game. What do you do on a revenge game? You bet it. Okay, so I was really nervous about what you were going to say there. You you bet it. I was going to say you bet it too. Giants, minus three, lock it in. They're going to win, and it's probably going to go over too. So if you want to do a little parlay, a little action reverse, Giants in the over, do it. But we're not counting the over as my, ba- in my, in my bagels and locks picks. Giants, minus three, first bet of the week. Let's go. Not a homer pick, but probably lose. Break my heart. Doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> it's a homer pick. It's really not. It's a homer pick. I, it's really not. The people see a homer pick. They know a homer don't pick. Be, don't be, don't be. When pick. you said it was a homer pick, you gave shitty analysis. I just told you the Giants' two best offensive weapons are coming back. After 10 days rest, 10 days to prepare for a team. An Arizona Cardinal team coming off in another emotional win. I didn't want you to like, tell with, me with more their about be, With their best pick. offensive weapon as a questionable, questionable, questionable play this week. How is that a homer pick? The stats just line up. The facts just line up. Giants, minus three. Stop. It's not a homer pick. All right. Yeah, so homer pick from Snacks. I'm going to give you a not homer pick. It's actually a great pick. I'm doing something special this week, by the way. See if you catch the theme. Here we go. Miami at Buffalo. We are taking the under. We're going under. 41. It's way too high for this game. You're probably thinking, but, but Animal... Revenge game. Ryan Fitzpatrick's starting. He's probably going to start for two quarters, and then they'll bench him and put Rosen in again. No. This Dolphins team does not know what the hell is going on. Bleep. I wanted to curse there. I didn't curse. I don't know why. Fuck, oh. fuck, fuck. Yeah, I should have cursed there. I don't know why I didn't. Under. Under 41. Simple. Ryan Fitzpatrick not going to get done. He's washed up. Are no you revenge game. Revenge game narrative is done. Are you nervous at all that... That Buffalo wins 45 nothing. So the possibility. <laughs> I'm not nervous. And I'm not switching. I, I flip-flop on these picks like 10 times already. I don't even know where I started anymore. The, theoretically. We're, we're going to end with the under on this one. Theoretically, you should you, you should feel comfortable with that game being like, like, like 31-10. Isn't that 41? 
No, it's 41 and a half. I thought you had. That's 41. Oh, What's so you don't. up there? You, Did I f*** it up? 41 and a half. I already said 41. It's 41. Oh, f***. 31.9. That's what we're looking at. That's all right. Don't worry about it. No, you know what? No, you're right. You wrote it wrong. You were right. It is 41. The under over is 41. And I, I like that pick a lot. I think the build, I don't think there's a chance the Dolphins score a point. Yeah, this is going to be a... I don't think there's a chance. It's a 30 to 3 game. Right. Exactly. I was trying to, I was trying to tickle your whistle a little bit. Good. Whoa. Ooh. Tickle your whistle. Ooh. I love that. Ooh. Anyway, Nikki Snacks is best, second best bet of the week. Actually, it's my... What? Yeah, it's my second best bet of the week. I'm going with a dog. I went all chalk last week. I went favorites and go figure. I, I lost. So I'm going to go with a dog this week. And I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals at home plus four against the, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it takes a lot out of me to bet against the spread or just bet against my coach, Tom Coughlin, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. But they ju- just traded their best player in Jalen Ramsey. Granted, he hasn't played. But the team didn't seem to like that too much. Leonard Fournette's crying like a bitch that he is. He's always hurt. Like, what the f*** does he got to say? Leonard, don't take that. You're telling people not to take my bets that I'm 14-4. No, I 14 said Leonard. I'm talking to Leonard. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A bitch on national oh, television. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, yeah, I know. Leonard Fournette is in the YouTube comments, and he's been it's talking to us about it. I know. I know. He even DM'd me. F- up. He goes, stop talking shit about my team. Well, here, here's what I'm going to do. Your team sucks. Minshew's a beast. But he's not, he's not going to cover four points. The Bengals have covered games this year. They were an 11-point dog against, on the road against Baltimore last week. And they scored a late touchdown and covered the points. They're at home this week. And I don't, I honestly, I don't think they're as awful as their 0-6 record says. I don't. And they're going to throw the ball all day. They have a, the Jaguars have a depleted secondary Great front seven. Of course they do. And the Bengals are missing their starting offensive tackle. But you know what? This game's going to be close. If anything, it's a field goal game for the Jaguars. I am taking plus four Cincinnati at home against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hoping for that uh, that late late backdoor cover? That's exactly what I'm hoping for. That's that's the only chance, I think. Well, I think now I feel a lot chance. better. Now I, I feel a lot better. Chance, but then again... I have no idea what I'm talking about. So <laughs> let's get on to my next pick because that I actually do know what I'm talking about because as you have caught on already by now, hopefully, I got a theme going this week. You've made one theme. pick. How do you want him to catch on after you one pick? You caught on. You see the theme here. I got a theme. It's Philadelphia at Dallas, 48 and a half. Over. We're going over. Can you see that? You see the theme here? We're not betting the spread anymore, baby. We're not betting the spread. We're going over. We're doing totals now. That's it. I'm a totals man. All right? What's that cereal? A total was a cereal, right? That's all I'm going to eat from now on. I'm going to eat total cereal every f-ing day. And I'm going to bet the totals. I'm going to bet the overs. I'm going to bet the unders. And that's it. That's your analysis of why you're picking that's that my, game? I'm not going to do analysis anymore either. Because I did analysis in the past. And I'm 5 and whatever. 5 and 15. Is that, is that what it is? Is that what it is? Well, if I'm what the f- f- is it? If I'm four and four, if these I'm- chairs suck. I need another chair. This chair sucks. Can we get some new f-ing chairs in here? Yo, producer, can we get some new chairs? Who produces this shit show? That guy. I don't even know his name, but he produces it. Look at him. Look at him, sneaky snout, I'm just sly motherfucker. This big dog pick. What do you got? Lock of the century, Eagles plus two and a half. I say this because Cooper, Cobb, Smith, Martin, Collins, Jones are all going to be questionable for this game. They may not even play. How could you take the Cowboys? They're going to suck. Eagles plus two and a half, lock of the century. Love that pick. Yeah, really. Listen, kid looks familiar too, doesn't he? Does. He does. He's he's very ugly. <laughs> uh, no, but really, listen. Sticking with the Philadelphia Dallas theme, there. I like it. I uh, think Philly. That's a da- great. Dallas is banged up, even though Philly's secondary is banged up too. Philly, um, Philly plays great on the road, though. So they it's do. Like, you know, they it's do. a good road dog pick. They do. I like that. And they, they're, you know, they just got, they just road got dog, smoked. Raw dog, whatever. And listen, I, as a Giants fan, I hope Philly wins. I hate Dallas more than I hate LeBron James. Actually, I hate LeBron James more. No, I probably hate Dallas more. I definitely Ooh. hate Dallas more. LeBron James climbing. I hate them both. I hate them both real bad. But, uh, whoa. Oh, shit, I do hear that. Oh. <laughs> you, oh, 
Oh, yeah. Go on. <laughs> You like that? I'm strong this week, baby. Hold on, dude. I'm getting heavy. Mm. Ah, uh. ah. <laughs> it is time for the big laugh. Oh! This stuff is good. It's really helpful. Yeah, I can tell. I think as you keep doing it, you're probably going to go 3 0. <laughs> anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see right here is the big lock of the week. I'm That's, five and one on big locks. I, this, this is gonna be from now on every week. I'm one in five big locks. From now on, I promise you, I will win the big locks every week. If I can promise you one thing, that's what I'll do. Am I just I I maybe I shouldn't drink any more of this stuff. I'm just saying uh, stuff I can't guarantee. I'm writing checks my butt can't cash. I'm I think your only guarantee should be that you just show up every week. That's it. You know, I interrupted you too. You were gonna give your big lock. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I mean, I'm still gonna give it. I'm, I'm a winner. I'm ten games over five hundred. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go back right to it, and um, I'm gonna take Chicago Bears at home against New New Orleans Saints. Uh, I've loved what I've seen from the Saints. I've taken them in a few games, as you guys know, if you've been watching. But Alvin Kamara's out. He's been ruled out, and they got Latavius Murray. I think. The Saints come back down to earth a little bit this week. They're ready for Drew Brees' return, but Teddy's been playing so well. So how does the team feel? Are they divided? What's the case? They're playing in Chicago against an elite defense. They've had a bye week to prepare. They have not played well this year. I think this is the right medicine for Chicago to come out and win by a touchdown, win by 10 Win 24-14, 24-17 in that range. It's I, not going to be high scoring, I but I think it. they get enough. I think they get enough done. I think the defense is ready to tee off. They're all healthy. They're ready to go. They're going in. They're strong. They're in energized. They need a win. The Saints, Drew Brees. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. Chicago, Bears, minus four, big lock. Of the week, five and one on the big locks, four, teen, and four overall. Boom. That's nice. Listen, I think Matt Nagy, I think he's one of those coaches that does well off the bye. He's a right? cunt. <laughs> he's one of those coaches that have his successful record coming off the bye week. Yeah, because he's he's under the Andy Andy Reid product system. That's why. That's the only reason why. It's a good reason. What happened on Thursday? I don't know. You could talk about it. Uh, I can't. I don't have enough time. We're already running late. I'm going to get to my big lock, and we are sticking with the theme, baby. And here we go. Baltimore at Seattle. Over. Just over. I don't even know what the... What is it, 49, over. 49 over. This, there's no defense. This is, the Baltimore defense is not what you think it is. It's not the, the public opinion. They, they, they say the Baltimore defense is good. It's not good anymore. Seahawks defense, Legion of Boom, that shit is dead. Not anymore. Defense on these teams are done. There's no defense. No defense. All offense. Tyler Lockett, Chris Carson, Russell Wilson. Will Disley's dead. I'm sorry. He was really looking good. That's really such a bum. Luke Wilson, touchdowns. Lamar Jackson, touchdowns. Mark Ingram, touchdowns. There's going to be touchdowns everywhere. There's going to be 55 points scored. So you just named every offensive player on both teams and said they're going to score touchdowns. That's your analysis of the under-over. Yeah. I love the new animal, boys. I truly think we're going 3 now. I really do. Like, your analysis were so bad, you were just saying, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. There's no other reason you need other than to just bet it. It's a, it's the game. It's on. There's a total. Bet the over. Bet the under. Bet one of them. I told you which one to bet. It's the over. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes another great episode of Beggars and Locks. We appreciate you guys listening. Please comment down below your favorite picks of the week. Tell us how much we're assholes. Tell, say thank you to me for winning you all these games. You could do yeah, that, really, too. You should start betting his picks if you haven't already. I mean, it, start. it would be nice. Start showing me the you ticket, would be too. Up, uh, A lot of money. Four, you'd be up $10,000 if you were betting $1,000 each time. 
Maybe a little less with the juice, but yeah. Yeah, but you get the idea. You get it. You, you get, get the it. idea. Oh, 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 oh. Bagels and locks. Thank you, boys. We appreciate it. And ladies, if you're watching too, good to see you. Bagels and locks?